各位好，我是陈一佳。进入七月之后呢，美国的股市啊就接连出现了冲高，在接近月底的时候呢，整个的股市有小幅度的盘整，而市场呢现在出现了一个交易量呢非常清淡的一个状况。而在月底的时候呢，我们面临了几个大事，首先是一系列的经济数据，另外就是联储最新的会议。而市场呢在稍后最后的四个月、五个月又会有怎么样的一些呢走势？今天我们请来了来自于基金方面的一个专家，来自于 Michael g a i a 的来和大家一起聊一下 Except。U.S. market, the global equity market is trading lower in 2013. Do you think that means maybe in U.S. equity market we are hiding some kind of bubble? It's a very interesting question. It's also very underappreciated, I think, by most people, especially here in the United States. Most people are looking at the Dow go vertical,、uh, the S&P 500 go vertical, and yet commodities are not doing well.、Uh, the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, and China. Are underperforming the U.S. by the largest since 1998.、Uh, whether it's a bubble or not, we only will know with hindsight. I don't think it is. I think it's just a, a euphoric stage in price movement、uh, because it's the only thing that's working. So, to some extent, money just keeps on going to the only thing that has a trend, which is the U.S. market. The volume is pretty low. What does that mean? And can we see、um, some kind of surge in the volume in the near future? Maybe I, you know this is this is a very kind of interesting aspect of what's going on here.、Uh, this idea of the great rotation, money coming out of bonds and into stocks. That the idea would be that as money comes out of fixed income, it gets pushed into equities, which then might increase volume as more transactions occur in the United States market.、Uh, that actually isn't really happening. You're having money come out of the bond market to go into cash, and you still see some concerns about U.S. equity. Whether that, I, I'm not sure that's necessarily indicative of anything. One can argue that low volume. Is actually probably a good thing. It means there are disbelievers, and maybe that means the trend does continue.、Uh, you mentioned a lot of people are holding cash. Do you think holding cash is a good strategy now? In general,、uh, cash timing really does not work because cash has no momentum. It doesn't move, right? So historically, it's you're better off being in something that can generate gains. Also, obviously, generate losses. The dollar is getting stronger.、Uh, the dollar is getting stronger, but if the Fed is going to continue to be, and that's going to actually cause maybe the dollar to decline relative to every other currency. So,、uh, I think you just want to be tactical at this point. It's, it's the challenge is: do you chase the S&P or do you try and catch up against the S&P by going into the more beaten down areas? Once they themselves have better momentum. 很高兴呢，在这里呢，听到了 Michael 呢对于目前啊市场在短期走势以及呢是在交易量方面的一些最新的分析。那市场呢现在最为关注的就是看联储啊最近一系列的动作到底会在短期之内对于美国的经济产生如何的影响。感谢各位的收看，我是陈一佳，我们稍后再会。